Hi, this is Skid Kelly, and I'm here on Lake Wakina in Danbury, New Hampshire, with my mascot, Vexman. We're here today to introduce my video on tools. While you're kayaking, a paddle is an essential tool to your progress. As you work through the VEX robotics system, tools will be an integral part of your project. The two types of tools used with the VEX robotics system are Allen wrenches and combination wrenches. There are two types of the Allen wrenches, a 332nd, which is used for the 832nd screws, and a 564th, which is used for the smaller screws, the motor screws, the set screws and collars, and standoff connectors. You can tell which wrench is which because the 332nd Allen wrench is a tiny bit larger than the 564th Allen wrench. It is recommended that you purchase at least eight of each size of the wrenches because it's amazing how many end up on the container above a washing machine at people's homes. The wrench included in the VEX design system is a combination open end 11 32nd inch and 1 quarter inch. The 11 32nd inch end is used for the 8 32 nuts and the quarter inch end is used for the VEX standoffs. Many teams stock wrenches other than the standard VEX combination wrench. These may include ratchet socket wrenches or even cordless power socket wrenches, but the standard 11 32nd inch and 1 quarter inch are the sizes needed. There are many additional tools which are helpful in building a VEX robot. Some of these include the nut starter is one of the most unutilized useful tools that comes with the Protobot starter kit. It is a rubber tube which can hold the 832nd nuts and help reach into tight places. Needle nose pliers are also very helpful to reach into tight places. A tabletop vise is very helpful to hold metal pieces while cutting them. A C-clamp will also work. A hacksaw is helpful to cut angle stock and drive shafts. A pair of tin snips are helpful to cut flat stock. And a flat file is needed to file sharp edges on cut metal pieces. A hammer is helpful to straighten metal pieces and tap in drive shafts. A Phillips one point screwdriver is needed to loosen the screw on the battery compartment of the VEXnet joystick. A metal shear is a fairly expensive tool but is well worth the investment. Safety glasses are recommended to be worn at competitions and any time materials are being cut. A multimeter can be used to measure many aspects of electricity but for VEX robotics it is very good for checking the voltage of a battery and the conductivity of a motor wire extension. It is also very advantageous to have storage containers to keep separate the many small parts with the VEX robotics system. For information about sample vendors for the tools shown in this video, please go to the website simplerobotics.org. Click on the Getting Started blue button, then the Tools blue link. Each of the blue tools titles will bring you to a sample vendor. These vendors did not sponsor this video or the NH STEM project.